Erica Banks goes to a Houston program and turns into one of the biggest TikTok songs. And, and, right. and, and boy for boy, female rapping lyrically, she's one of the best. Like him big for a taste because he fiend it. He did what's not, he stuck, he can't leave it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Erica Banks goes to a Houston program and turns into one of the biggest TikTok songs. And, and, right. and, and boy for boy, female rapping lyrically, she's one of the best. Like him big for a taste because he fiend it. He did what's not, he stuck, he can't leave it. Put two hands on his ass because you need it. Bro, I picked her. I I, I text her. I got the text, nigga. I'm, before, it, I'm talking before all of the... Uh, because I seen it. I'm finna tell you what's so crazy. And I tripped out off of it. Nigga, call, call my phone. Hey, man, I'm, I'm thinking about signing her, bro. But if you say I shouldn't, I won't. I said, man, she's the best female artist out of Dallas. Sign the... Pro she gone. That talk when a nigga up in it. Touch me right. Fuck me good. Get up in me like you should. Before that, even before she went to uh, to to, no, to, to I, half paint, I, I my son showed her to me, and I was like, "Man, she that girl can that. rap, nigga." Bro. I knew it, bro. When she was stripping and rapping, I was like, "Bro, you cold," because you got to think about it. It was like it's like three or four like strippers that turned rappers that mm -hmm. got since Molly. Twenty two. Bitches coming, tell them hoes I'm in a hurry. Y'all can stay over. Just put your clothes on. Leave out in the morning. Yeah, mm -hmm. when she was dancing, she was like, hey, "I'm a rap." Like I was literally like, we went out of town, we went out of town to go make some money, and I and I'm listening to the music and I'm like, "Man, you tripping? You need to focus on this." Yeah, like you got it. You got shout it. out to Sensei Molly, man. What did somebody say? Brooke was here last night. I was about yeah. to say, what did somebody say about um, rapping and stripping that it's just not a good look? It's not uh, a good no, look if that you can't that, rap. I can't say who said That's that. That's why I said somebody said that. Yeah, but at the end of the day, I think the hustle is real. I respect the hustle. I don't give a damn it's what you got to do. You so better you make it. agree that it's not a good look? I ain't no, saying no, it's not I, a good I, look. I don't, I don't, ain't nothing not a good look because if it work, it work. Okay. I can't I can't dictate what works for you. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like I, I think the hustle is real. Yeah, for sure. I tell my, I, I, I tell my kids all the time, I'll be like, man, you can't go look at your partner and what your partner got going on. And expect it to to work for you, cause she she his parents might not fuss at him for for acting up or doing something, so he ain't got to deal with these consequences. But you do, yeah. So you gotta always you gotta put that in everyday lifestyle. Like, hey, I don't know what might work for you, because yeah. I don't know your financials. You might got a strip. Your lights might. That's be cut what out. I was talking about. And, and that's, that's cool. exactly what I said. I said that the fact that you gotta, cause rapping takes money. You Man, gotta find it somewhere take, or the other. Rap take real. Pa I just told you when to to keep up that that whole hit that image. I was literally balling broke all the time. Oh, you was coming here and spending that money. Man, come on. <laughs> I was balling bro. Because I used to hear it from her. She say, he came up the other day. He got a man, shirt. Kooji, I, man, that Kooji <laughs> wasn't. That was that expensive. Wasn't cheap. It was Kooji, Crown Holder, Mazan. I remember. That nigga come remember. on, man. I, I, I see the pictures. And my mama That's used to. exactly what My it was. mama used to turn a, a, a mud hole through me like. Boy, you just keep buying clothes, and you gotta buy shoes. And I was going over there to DK with Miss Lisa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, back then, yeah, she had the red hair. I was under the old law. You know, yeah. you couldn't get the new J's unless you bought the outfit. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. You, you wasn't no raffles. It was like if you ain't buying a whole unit because we selling the clothes too now. Yeah, you can't just get these shoes. So you gotta go get the shorts, the shirt, the jacket. And we're going to give you the shoes right yeah, now. Yeah, You know what I'm saying? I came under that law. Yeah. So a pair of Jordans, 150. The jacket was like 80. The shorts was like yeah. 50. The that crown holder started. was hidden, wasn't it? I'm in a crown holder, that was 350. That crown holder, was, I she know was, them niggas who were doing that. Man, yeah. we were crown holder at concerts. Jeezy come in crown holder. Yeah. Black label. Or 8732. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Come on. We was, yeah. I was going broke. I had all them accounts here at this store. That's crazy. I was going broke. Yeah. And people don't be understanding, like, you know what I'm saying? But you got to, you got to, like, hey, man. It's the image. You're upholding the that image. image. Got to have your image upheld. So I cannot work. I don't even got to get fly if I don't want to get fly. And people going to be like, man, that nigga fly for 12 years strong. He going to always be fly. Yeah, they get, that's the way it so is. So to be successful in the music industry, it can't just be all talent. Image has to go with it. Yeah. It, to, to depending extent. on the crowd that you shooting for. Like I'm like I used to hate what Mo3 used to work. 
It used to kill my guts. It used to grind my girls. I was like, bro, come on, bro. We got to go tomorrow real quick, fam. I'm like, I don't <laughs> care about that, fool. Right. They finna hurt his flow. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? Wow. I, was like, I just couldn't. I didn't understand it. But the catch is, it's all about the confidence in the individual. Yeah. Some people need clothes. I'm like, I, for a long time, I needed clothes to make me feel like walking in a room. Now, it's to the point where I can, I can be chilling. I can wear a white tee. Because I didn't now the upgrading, I'm into jewelry, I'm into all these other little things yeah. that that that's like that compensate for clothes. But in the meantime, shit, I started my own clothes. I'm gonna be honest with you, I, and I know that we're gonna get into that, but you know, I can relate because that's how this store got here. Because it was a time when I was hustling, I wouldn't wear the same thing twice. Come on, man. I came like, under I'm that. A, I'm a nigga we that came, came under that dang dash I'm a, different, law. I'm a different type dude. You don't bro. even wear your white tees. I ain't wear nothing. Like oh, I give yeah. it to my Ooh. brother. I give it to my cousin. Man, I hate that. You know how you know much white tees this man? <laughs> hey, look, I'm a world. <laughs> hey, he go out and buy a new white tee every single time. You know what was so crazy? <laughs> my mom used to be like, because at this time, I had my own apartment. But at that, I had my own apartment, but it was with no washing machine in there. And so I was like, man, I used to drive all the way back home. The washing machine free at my mama house. Mm -hmm. So my mama would be like, I don't know why you washing your clothes. Cause you ain't gonna wear them again. again. <laughs> I'm That's, like, it. That's I, something we do. I was like, uh, I, but I might, I might. And you not. And I'm not. And she was like, cause you keep coming here with bags. Buy a new one. She was like, you, like this is ridiculous. I'm talking about, we really, I literally, this how, this how bad clothes was for me. In high school, I didn't talk to my mom from September of my senior year to like two months in when I was in college because I wound up getting a job. My mom, my only thing my mama did not want me to do growing up was get a job. She wanted me to focus on school. That's it, nothing else, school. But shit, I made straight A's. So I was like, this shit easy, school easy. I don't, this, I made straight A's, graduated eight in my class. So I was like, I don't, I need a job. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.